All rise. Criminal Court Part 2 is now in session. The Honorable Harold. Of course it is. Watch this. <laughs> no! Oh my God. Richard Mole, Bull the Bailiff on Night Court, dies at 80. Shaving his head for a movie helped him get a part of a lifetime, and he spent nine seasons on the hit NBC sitcom. Richard Mole, the fun-loving actor who portrayed the towering and tender-hearted bailiff Aristotle Nostradamus Bull Shannon on all nine seasons of the popular NBC sitcom Night Court during its original run, has died. He was 80. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you fascinating stories from the world of entertainment. Today, we dive into the extraordinary life and legacy of Richard Mole, the towering bailiff on the beloved sitcom Night Court. This iconic TV show captivated audiences for nine incredible seasons, and Richard Mole's unforgettable portrayal of Bull Shannon played a significant role in its success. Join us as we explore Richard Mole's journey, his achievements, and his last words before he passed away. So let's get started. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. However, before his passing, Mole shared some poignant last words that deserve to be remembered. Mole died peacefully Thursday at his home in Big Bear Lake, California, his publicist announced. Suitable for his 6'8 frame, Mole played an abominable snowman alongside Ringo Starr and Barbara Bach in the comedy feature Caveman 1981, and he was a scary, decomposing Vietnam veteran in the horror film House 1986. Mole also did lots of voiceover work with a regular gig as the immortal bodyguard Norman on the syndicated series Mighty Max and turns as Harvey Dent or Two-Face for three Batman cartoons. Mole had a shaved head. He did that to play the warrior Hurok in the sci-fi film Metal Storm, The Destruction of Jared Sin, 1983. When he auditioned for the role of Shannon on Night Court, created by Reinald Weege, they said, Richard, the shaved head looks good. Will you shave your head for the part? He recalled in a 2010 interview. I said, are you kidding? I'll shave my legs for the part. I'll shave my armpits. I don't care. With Night Court being nominated three times for the Emmy for Outstanding Comedy Series, Mole came up with a catchphrase, Okay, as he appeared on all but one of the show's 193 episodes from 1984 to 1982, alongside the likes of Harry Anderson, John Larroquette, Charlie Robinson, and Marky Post. Mole was not involved with the Lara Quet top-lined Night Court reboot that returned to NBC for the 2002-2023 season. Charles Richard Mole was born in Pasadena on January 13, 1943. His mother, Violet, was a nurse and his father, Harry, a lawyer. A history and psychology major at the University of California at Berkeley, he graduated in 1964, then worked as a deputy probation officer in Almeida County and in Ladies Hosiery at a store in San Francisco. He came to Los Angeles in 1968 to pursue acting, but found the going tough at first. He got to play a cannibal in a Hertz commercial opposite Don Adams and then Joseph Smith in a 1977 biopic about Bergham Young before landing parts in episodes of Welcome Back Cotter and the Rockford Files. In 1979, Mole was cast as a gangster in the two-part Happy Days episode Fonzie's Funeral and that led to appearances on two other Gary Marshall-created shows, Laverne and Shirley and Mork and Mindy. He filled out his resume with work in films including Hard Country, 1981, and Ralph Bakshi's American Pop, 1981, and on such TV shows as The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo, BJ and the Bear, Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, TJ Hooker, Alice and the Dukes of Hazard, before landing on Night Court. Bull was going to be very hard-edged, he told People magazine in 2003, but I think they saw something in me to make him a lot softer. At the Manhattan Municipal Criminal Court, his character sweetly bonded with female bailiffs Selma Hacker, Selma Diamond, who died between seasons 2 and 3, Flo Kleiner, Florence Halep, who died between seasons 3 and 4, and Roz Russell, Marsha Warfield. Mole also played himself in 1987 on a two-part episode of NBC's The Facts of Life, 
and recurred as the drifter on the 1992 to 2002 Nickelodeon comedy 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd. He also showed up on Highlander, Babylon 5, Married with Children and Anger Management and in the films The Flintstones 1994, But I'm a Cheerleader 1999 and Scary Movie 2 2001. An avid bird watcher and nature lover, Mole was married and divorced twice. His second wife, Susan, was a daughter of Milton Burleigh's third and last wife, Lorna Adams. Survivors also include his children, Chloe and Mason, and his stepchildren, Cassandra and Morgan. Determined to leave a lasting impact on the world, Richard Mole dedicated his final moments to imparting wisdom and reflections on his remarkable life. In his own words, through the laughter, tears, and everything in between, I am grateful for the opportunity to have touched the hearts of so many. Life is a gift, and I encourage everyone to embrace it fully, never taking a single moment for granted. Richard Mole's loved ones, family, and close friends fondly remember him as a gentle giant with an infectious laugh. They recount numerous stories of his kindness, generosity, and unwavering support for aspiring actors. Mole's dedication to his craft and deep compassion for others created a lasting impact on everyone he encountered. Beyond his successful acting career, Richard Mole was also an active philanthropist, supporting several charitable organizations. His willingness to give back and make a difference in the lives of others showcased his genuine nature and compassion, a legacy worth celebrating. Richard Mole's incredible journey in the entertainment industry touched the hearts of millions, leaving an undeniable impact on the world. From his unforgettable portrayal of Bull Shannon to his last words encouraging us to cherish life's fleeting moments, Mole's legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. Thank you so much for joining us on this emotional journey through the life and final words of Richard Mole, the towering bailiff on Night Court. Remember to cherish each moment and embrace the gift of life, just as Richard Mole encouraged us to do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from the world of entertainment. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos.